since helming the position, um, I also came uh, uh, to know that there was an existence of this integrity unit or integrity, uh, the whole idea of integrity officers who are being placed or seconded in the various GLCs. It has um, had very little exposure, although it has been a very good idea because part of MACC is not just to um, take action and arrest people and send them to jail, but we are also uh, supposed to deal with preventive measures. And placing integrity officers uh, uh, is certainly uh, a very good uh, suggestion and idea. And the directive actually came from the Prime Minister in 2014. And 2015 onwards, uh, MACC has started placing integrity officers in various GLCs, as well as government agencies and also ministries. Uh, however, I think despite the idea, I think we need to also strengthen the role of the integrity officers and also upgrade the level of the officers that are being placed in the various um, uh, GLCs. We note uh, it may have been used as a platform to send or transfer officers for various reasons, um, uh, it, uh, which I, I, I shall not reveal. But um, it also we'll also have to keep a close uh, watch on our own officers. So these officers will be permanently be there, and we will, uh, you know, do our rotation and replacement if there's any complaints uh, as such. As can and be, they can be charged. It, it, it really depends on what was the nature of the complaint, but not immunity per se. But they, on their own, would have actually uh, uh, taken on themselves to actually dilute uh, their position as a whistleblower. So definition of what's a whistleblower is important. Yeah. Sometimes people get confused. Uh, we have three types of people who come and complain to MACC. So a person could be just a mere informer or a complainant, uh, meaning the victim. Or the third person is a person who is a whistleblower. So the person needs to decide what kind of a person uh, she or he is <coughs> when they come to complain. So these are the things that we need to uh, verify first. So if a complaint is brought to us, the person claims that that person is a whistleblower and needs protection, then we would definitely ask for some commitment for them to actually say that you are seeking for whistleblower protection. But after having made that commitment, then you go out there and probably say something else. That uh, doesn't help. So, so meaning the immunity doesn't hold when, when you are extending your cooperation with the agency and yes, then you go yes, out and you make statements. Yes, so. because uh, on a practical, uh, uh, in a practical fashion, if someone comes and gives us information and then that same information is then told to the press before MACC could reach tinggal pintu saja this is the problem that we are facing you know so we need to uh, understand the challenges of the investigation uh, investigators and also the enforcers, enforcers of the law we sometimes feel that after having given us information you also go out there and tell and then uh, it will be undermined it will be a form of sabotage if you say too much we're not saying don't say of course you're free to express and uh, uh, expect uh, uh, action but if you say too much which will <coughs> actually undermine our investigation that does not help you need to be clear if a person exposes something that that person in itself does not necessarily mean the person is a whistleblower all right it, whistleblower means the person may be affected or penalized due to the information that has been exposed. Mere exposing a person does not make the person whistleblower. Having said that, there are issues in which we have to deal with balancing the idea of protecting the whistleblower as well as the, the, um, uh, the effectiveness of a complaint. Uh, if everything is exposed, how do we then do the investigation? And also to understand that a person can be also defamed. So it, uh, a person or a company or whatever can be exposed to uh, accusations or allegations which have yet to be investigated. So these are the things that we need to uh, take note first. Uh, secondly, uh, when it comes to immunity, as far as MACC is concerned, if any person uh, uh, seeks the whistleblower protection, MACC in it, uh, on its own actually does give that protection. Um, and, 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 uh, as far as the law is concerned, there are certainly um, certain gaps which we need to tighten up. But I can only uh, share those views and our comments and feedback on uh, what is lacking to the uh, proper channel to the policy. Sorry, and